Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play series. This is episode 3, and I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. We have a very special episode today because we have a lot to do. And to get ourselves caught up on, quite frankly. So I think we should just jump in and let's go over the goals. So number one, the main theme for today is a storage hall. We, this, this is absolutely critical. We need storage because we are running out of space. We have so many chests that are full of stuff right now, and we need to get this, uh, get this show on the road here, so to speak. We need to start building and gaining some momentum. So we need to put some stuff somewhere. So that will be our main item for today. Number two, we got ourselves, as you can see, to level 30. However, I need a little bit more levels because we're going to enchant some tools at the bare minimum, a pickaxe. We absolutely need a pickaxe. Uh, so we're going to need some XP, quite frankly. Either we'll do it through mining or we'll do it through killing some mobs in a little bit of a time lapse or something. It doesn't matter. We're not ending this episode without an enchanted pickaxe, preferably Fortune 3, if you know what I mean. Number three. It's time to explore. Let's take a look around. Uh, we've got a lot of area here, and I do know that there's a savanna over here, savanna over there, and down there at the end of this uh, plains area, we've got a village. Uh, beyond that, we don't know a whole lot. We did do a little bit of exploration, but not a lot. We need to go check out what's around here, <laughs> if at all possible. I hope to be able to find a saddle somewhere, you know, a shipwreck or something. I, uh, we need a saddle. Uh, I, I don't, I don't do this walking thing too much. It's just taking too long. Okay. Number four, we need bamboo and bamboo is so critical for us to be able to get scaffolding. I am tired of just trying to do dirt blocks and all that kind of stuff because our tools are getting worn out. We need scaffolding. So bamboo, we need you. And finally, if we have time. I found in one of my strip mining sessions what looks to be the entrance, or at least close to it, of an ancient city. If there's time, we'll go check out and see if we can find any. But only after we enchant the tools. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I'm going to come home with no life. So it should be an exciting episode this time. As you can see, we've got a lot to do. So let's jump in and get started. So I think the first thing that we're going to do is go exploring. And as you can see, I'm holding some leather here. Um, we need a little bit more leather so that we can make some leather boots so that we can go up and around some of these mountain areas and in the snow if we need to without dying. That means you probably don't want to watch what's about to occur, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm not going to lie, this uh, perhaps isn't the most flattering of outfits I have here. I mean, to be fair, the leather looks cool, the, the, the gold sort of works, but the, the iron pants, uh, for those of you that live in North America, you probably know this probably looks like what we would call long underwear. <laughs> I'm literally walking around in long underwear. That's, that's what it feels like, but it's okay. Let's go adventuring. Who doesn't go adventuring in their long underwear? I mean, it just happens. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There was the jungle that we got the jungle wood from before. I didn't think it would take long to get the bamboo, so I think... Yeah, there's a whole bunch over there, too. Wonderful. Oh. Oh. Okay. Time to sleep. Excellent. Let's get back into it. We're almost there. Let's get some bamboo. I think there was a whole bunch over here. That's where we got our trees from before. So that's cool. There we go. I don't know why I didn't go over there before and get them. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Seven of them. 
get a little bit more. Good. Ooh, what's this? Oh, beautiful. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. This is stunning. I mean, that looks awesome. Oh, there's an abandoned portal over there. We should go check that out. And it looks like a lush cave. Okay. This is all part of the exploring, so let's go get whatever we can find over here at the abandoned portal. Okay, some magma blocks as usual. And what do we got in here? Oh, okay, we'll take the oh, we'll take the pickaxe. Why not? We'll take the apple as well. We'll take the boots and another flint and steel. Why not? Why not? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. Hey, uh, I'm. Uh, uh, let's go check this out. Let's go check. Look at this beautiful cave area. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Dude. Dude. This is, an, this is naturally generated. Are you kidding? Wow. Are we able to get some of these berries? Yes, good. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the magma blocks. Yes, yes. Hey, let's get some light help here. What? Oh, wow. This is beautiful in here. I mean, if one wanted a cave area, this would be quite the place to be able to get some stuff here. I'd love to get the glow like, and I don't have any. Oh, I do. That is even better news. I actually can get this guy. Fantastic. We got ourselves some glow lichen. Excellent. I wonder if I can reach that. Yes. Beautiful. Spore Blossom. I forgot what the name of that was. What else have we got in here? This is incredible. Look at this place. We'll take some of this, please. More. Thank you. Can I reach the Spore Blossom from here? I don't think so. Okay. What else have we got here? I don't want to make you guys all dizzy there at home. Let's keep going. Let's check out what else is in here. This is an incredible cave. I can't believe... Oh, moss. Very, very, very important. Very important. All we need is one, even. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's keep going. Again, we're just trying to go in a straight line as much as possible. Are we heading out? We are heading out. Okay. So I did turn around. That's okay. This, this will do just fine. And I've got enough glow lichen to be able to use bone meal... Wait a minute. <laughs> I did not turn around. This is a different exit. Um, let's check journey map for a second here. Where... Where are we? Okay. Oh. Oh, we went through this entire area. Look at this. We went through this entire... Wait a minute. We were over here, weren't we? We were on that little beach right here. That looks to be that tree that was going to go into the lush cave. So we went through this cave system all the way under this entire area. Wow. That is impressive. Oh, and it's getting dark. I think from a lore point of view, that's actually incredibly interesting. Um, this could be a completely different kingdom over here. But since our base area is right over here, as you can see on the map, right there. We know what's in this area. We picked up our dark oak from over in this area. We've got a lot of normal, let's see, what is this? Uh, forest regions and whatnot over here. But we don't know what's down here, but it looks like there is a desert just around the corner. And that is also extremely valuable info, also for resources. So I think we'll continue. Oh my, this looks incredible. Okay, are we starting to get to the... There's the desert up there. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right, so not only do we have a place for resources. Look at this, guys. Unbelievable. 
The generation once again. Oh, so much. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Another abandoned portal. Let's go check that out. We are approaching now the abandoned portal. What do we got here? Anything? Huh. Would this mean that that the chest is actually buried, or is there even a chest? Are there abandoned portals without chests? I don't remember. Oh well, whatever. What's over here? Let's go check that out. Let's see what we've got. Oh. String, yes please. Horse armor? Mm, when we get our horse, that might be important. What can we throw out here? We don't need our shield. <laughs> Who needs shields? <laughs> I've got leather and long underwear. Smithing template. Okay, that's that's coming. That's uh, I don't know what to throw out now. While we're traveling, this is probably a good time to explain. One of the things I'd like to be able to do with this series as well is to be able to interact between different places. And my thoughts are perhaps that we could build, I don't want to say kingdoms necessarily, but different villages, different areas, maybe kingdoms. Depends how motivated I would be to be able to build something big that looks to be a village. That's what we want. Um, but what I'd like to be able to do is really to have these different villages have different kinds of strengths and weaknesses, or let's say different kind of things to offer one another. Very similar to what Empire's SMP has done in the past. Each empire has their own, their own things that they barter and trade for. This is, wow, I'm very glad I stopped. <laughs> and uh, with those items, it, re it makes it required for the different villages to somehow interact with one another. This is... Oh, he would be great too. I uh, would be, be able to... I, I, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> my point is, is that each of the villages would be able to trade amongst themselves for items that they would need that the other village cannot produce. I think we'll just sleep here. Okay, let's take a look at journey map and see where we are at at the moment. Okay, we've really traversed quite far, actually. Our home is right around the corner. It looks like it's right around the corner, but we're quite far away now. And it looks like there's a warm ocean here. I wonder if there's some coral. It looks like there are bits and pieces. A shipwreck. Oh, I hope there's something good in here. And now I'm kind of kicking myself for leaving my axe at home. Oh, come on, we need a saddle. One of the items that are absolute garbage, late game, <laughs> really important right now. Oh, look at this coral, how gorgeous. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Okay, we'll take that and we'll take the lapis as well. <laughs> Well, this has been, this has been pretty good. Uh, we got a couple of smithing templates here. Oops. We got a couple of smithing templates here, which is good. Um, I'm pretty happy with these. It's fine. I don't really have a lot of experience with these smithing templates, so I, I should be happy maybe, but I really just want a saddle. We have a completely full inventory and it doesn't really benefit us to continue going into unexplored areas when we've got so much on the agenda to do. So let's head back home, get ourselves settled in, get our stuff put back into chests and uh, we'll head on to the next topic. So we'll see you back at the base. All right, well, I would call that a successful, in fact, even a very successful exploration run. The only thing that's missing is, unfortunately, a saddle. However, take a look at my inventory. We've got a pretty decent catch of iron. We've got some glow berries that we found from that absolutely epic uh, cave. We've got some cactus, which is great for later. We've got the brewing stand, which is going to be helpful. Moss to get us going with moss. But this one is really nice. The diamond horse armor. That was a really great find. Some, Oh! You scared me to death. I just about fell off my chair, sir. Oh, what do you have? 
Anything good? Apps. Well, the blue ice might be interesting. Don't ever do that again, or, or else. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> oh, that scared me so bad. Uh, what we did get, however, is a couple of different smithing templates, which is really cool too, along with some TNT, which in early game like this is very expensive to get. So, uh, also a good good run of bones as well to be able to get some bone meal going i have to say that i'm i'm reasonably happy with this we just need to find that saddle and just maybe 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 we'll get better luck next time but uh let's just call this exploration checked and done for this episode i think we need to move on to some other stuff this is this is a full one today ladies and gentlemen let's go and let's get rid of this guy at the same time okay Next thing we're going to do is enchant one of our tools. We unfortunately didn't get past the th level 30, but we're going to take a chance and see what we can get. Oh, let's go back to our lovely new enchanting setup. If you haven't seen this yet, I encourage you to go to my previous episode and check out that one. We are changing things up once again with this one. It's not going to be so long when we make the... Uh, the uh, storage room as it was this last time and also Jay Figsy also mentioned possibly using walls here as an example that could be interesting it actually kind of doubles as a bit of a railing I suppose that's interesting unless of course Figsy you meant that the walls would actually go where the polished tough are um, I'm not sure but I mean just putting them here like this is also kind of interesting it adds a little bit of texture to what's there hmm Interesting, but hey, thanks for the suggestion. We will uh, take some lapis. Oh, we've got like loads of lapis right now. <laughs> Bucket loads of lapis. And we'll put the diamond pickaxe where it's supposed to go. What? What? What do you mean? Let's get enough lapis. Efficiency four. I'll take efficiency four and please either fortune three or and unbreaking three let's go you're kidding me efficiency four only no not gonna do but we'll leave it for now um <laughs> we're down to 27 again <laughs> level 27 so i'll be back for you my precious don't worry okay oh wait we'll drop off this lapis and we'll come back and get that another time all right efficiency four pickaxe is better than just a basic pickaxe so i won't complain too much <laughs> but i think what we'll do is we'll leave that particular one here because we are working with a basic one at the moment we'll leave this this one here as well oh and i forgot we've got some bamboo so i think that we could get started with this maybe over here with the sugar cane for the moment we'll put it there in the back this bamboo is pretty messy stuff so we'll just pepper it in everywhere here this stuff is awesome. Excellent. I think that'll work just fine, won't it? Just to get us started. That's all that I wanted. Uh, anyway, we need a lot of string to be able to go along with the bamboo to get enough scaffolding to start chopping down some of these gigantic trees here. Um, everything is still being done mostly by hand, I would say. Well, everything by hand. <laughs> I don't have any machinery. It's just plain and simple manual labor. Plain and simple. Nothing else. So... <laughs> Anything that we could do to help speed up getting up from the top, I'd rather prefer, I'd prefer just to get up to the top and chop all the way down rather than chopping bit by bit up and then coming back down again. So um, this, I would say, is sort of checked, not completely checked, the enchanted tool. We may be able to come back in a little while after exploring some more later and retry another pickaxe. We will, we will get a proper enchanted pickaxe. It must happen. Okay, let's go inside and we'll prepare for the next phase. All right, it's a new day, people. It's time to get building the storage hall. This is what I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Okay, what we're gonna be doing here is we're probably gonna be putting it a little bit lower down like this. I really like builds that are on different levels. Our storage hall is 20 blocks long and 13 wide so we've really got to make some room it's a pretty big build but 
you either go big or go home, right? <laughs> so let's get building and we'll see how we can uh, do a little bit of terraforming first to see if we can't get a really nice little area for this. Let's go. Well, 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 we finally got it done, ladies and gentlemen. I loved this project. This was a lot of fun to be able to build this one. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Here we are. This is absolutely stunning. Let's take a look really quick here on Freecam. Um, I, I really like this. It's just, it's, it's a very big building. I love the fact that it's in a different orientation. It's also on a different level than the house. I, I think it's really fantastic, to be honest with you. What I'm not entirely sure about, I'd love to get your feedback, is what do you think about these half slabs being here? I mean, this this too is like a rather large terrace. It would be probably not very medieval, I guess, <laughs> but it's nice. <laughs> but uh, these just make it convenient to be able to go down and up without having to jump every single time. So. I don't know, what do you think? Are these kind of just excessive or what? But anyway, here here's the outside of the storage area. In fact, I still have some, some stuff to clear away here, as you saw from the time lapse. I was having to use dirt because we still don't have scaffolding as of yet. So, oh, there's a little piece missing here. I'll have to fix that later. But anyway, this is this is how it looks here. I really wanted to have a double entrance. I'm gonna have to work on this a little bit here, as you can see, uh, because just off down here and to the left, we have our mining area, the entrance to the mining area. So what I was hoping to have is to have a second entrance here where you can just come straight in to the uh, storage area. And here we are inside, like where there's some serious, serious chests here. In fact, there are so many chests here. There's in fact 74 chests and 24 barrels, 23 barrels total, excuse me. And with that, if we fill with only stackable items, that is um, just shy of 296,000 items. I'm not really sure I'm gonna be getting that amount, but I really like storage and I like space, so we're gonna go for excess here. Uh, we need to have stuff, we need to have places to put that stuff, and that's that. So, actually, in fact, I just noticed that that's not right. Let's, uh, let's fix that, there we go. All right, but he here's the basic idea, here's the basic layout of this. I might still do a little bit more, I'm not really sure if I like this, this brick here alongside of this. I may take that out and just put tough as a floor and that's it. But each side has its own crafting table. This side has a little mini station here of different furnaces, smokers, blast furnaces, and so on, depending on what we're doing. But the main thing here is storage. It's nothing fancy, but it's a storage. And a little bed here, a little, little tiny cubby hole to be able to sleep if needed here. We got little lookouts here of the house. Also, if we want, we can jump up here and take a look a little bit more off yonder. 
where all my horses to be, I hope, someday, someday, if I ever get a saddle. But this is, uh, this is going to be great. This is setting us up nicely because we have already so many items in our storage area. And this place is really now starting to come together, isn't it? Let's take a look here. Look at this with the sunshine. Or the... Yeah, this is nice. I really like this. Huge area, huge hall. Um, but I like to grind. And I like places to be able to put the stuff that I put that I go out and get. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna deal with that. Oh, I forgot a few fences here too. Oh dear, <sighs> kind of slipping. But hey, we almost got everything done. Let's go grab quickly. Actually, we'll sleep first. We'll come back out. We'll grab some bamboo, whatever has grown. We'll get some scaffolding and we'll check that item off the list too. And then I think we're near the end. We have scaffolding everybody. How exciting is this? Look at this. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is going to help out a whole bunch now. I hope you enjoyed this episode, everybody. I hope this was really a lot of fun. Lots of exploring. Absolutely huge amount of things done today. We've <laughs> we got a good look around at our surroundings. We got this big, beautiful storage hall done. We got ourselves some scaffolding. We even enchanted a pickaxe, even though it's only efficiency four, but it's a start. It's okay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you've liked this, please put a like on the channel or on the video, excuse me, and maybe even consider subscribing if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. This is my Let's Play series, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.